because uh, one of my videos I would do some reviews soon. <clears throat> so uh, to start off uh, some reviews for you guys. Um, I'm gonna review two of my favorite reels I've been using right now. One I've been using for maybe I want to say around six months, and I put it to every test possible. Um, I've caught everything from big saltwater fish to big freshwater fish. Um, I've used it for micro fishing. Uh, the other reel, um, I've put it to the test in maybe the last month or so that I've had it. I feel like it's long enough to compare it to the other reel uh, to know it's uh, even comparable. Um, so to start off, I've got the Abu Garcia Revo S30. It's a 3,000 size reel. Uh, I fought everything, uh, even a jet ski. This thing has been spooled by a jet ski. If you can see right here, uh, the line holder tab got ripped off by that jet ski. I used to, I don't do it anymore, but I used to grab the tag of the line on there when I tied the line on the spool uh, to, in the case I got spooled by something large, I'd have that little bit of insurance to hold that line so I could get some line back on the reel. Bad idea, guys. Just tie your line really well on your spool. If you get spooled, you get spooled. It's better than damaging a $130 reel. Um, besides that, uh, the gears, uh, the, the carbon fiber on the drag, got a little worn out the clicker well not so much the carbon fiber the clicker on the drag is a little worn out from that experience um so it's not quite as loud of a drag as it was before it wasn't a loud, loud drag to start with but um excellent freaking reel i love this reel i use this reel for just about anything um if i had to pick one reel in my arsenal to use for everything i'd probably pick this reel um Incredible reel. I have yet to oil or grease this reel in the six months that I've had it. Um, I don't even think I've rinsed it once from using it in salt water, and it's flawless. It has eight ball bearings and a 6.2 to 1 gear ratio. Um, right now, I've got it spooled with 20 pound braid, so I'm holding uh, roughly, I want to say, 150 yards. 20 pound braid on here right now about 145 yards and um, I gotta tell you this reel is awesome I've used it for everything um, I've actually got it on a Walmart pole uh, I've been looking for a portable Abu Garcia rod to put this thing on but can't find one <laughs> um, so this reel right here um, if you're looking to buy a high-end reel that small, compact, can do just about everything. Um, now, I wouldn't recommend this reel for fighting big fish. Can't really hold that much heavy line. Like I said, this is 20 pound braid. I've ran 30 pound braid on it before. Really can't fit that much line. Um, it was quite easy for 20 pound jack to just about spool this before pulling it and piling. Um, but, my point being is it was able to hold up to that fight without burning out, um, without failing in any type of way. Now, mind you, I didn't have the drag tightened down all the way, um, because then he probably would have just popped the line on me. Um, but again, if you're looking for a high-end spinning reel, I definitely recommend the Abu Garcia Revo series. Um, I'm actually looking into buying a Revo SX. Um, but as of for right now, this is probably the most expensive reel I own. Um, now to, to speak on affordable reels, if you're looking for something that compares to something in this $130 range, now mind you, this pole was only $40 at Walmart, so I mean, we're talking a $160 combo. Um, now I didn't pay full price for this reel, a buddy of mine 
had this reel for sale for about 65, 75 bucks. I think I paid for it. So I got it about almost half off. Um, but now mind you, had I were going to pick a reel that I was gonna pay full price for, this definitely be one of those reels, uh, especially you know, for bass fishing. Um, now, we're looking for a reel that can handle it all and you're on a budget, this is the reel you want to pick up right here. It's a Shimano Sienna 2500. Now, if you can see the size comparison, they're about the same size, uh, minus the little bit of a smaller spool. I've got about 100 and, I want to say, 130 yards of 20 pound braid on it. And this thing is a beast. Um, I've, again, bought just about everything with this reel um, and it can do the job this reel is only $30 at Walmart um, I do not recall how many ball bearings this has I think it only has about three or four ball bearings not a high ball bearing reel but it is a super durable reel um, but I've got it on this Tsunami SeaTech it's like a $22 rod at Walmart. So this is like a $55 combo uh, versus a uh, what I spent here. I mean, if you're talking retail, $170 combo. For $55, it does everything that $175 combo does. Um, drag on this thing, I do not know the exact specs on this drag. Uh, but I believe the drag on that Abu is about 15 to 17 pounds. Um, this easily compares to that. Uh, it's got the exact same drag power as the 4000 series, which I also own. And that 4000 on this rod, I was reeling in sharks, big bluefish, um, you name it, it can handle it. Uh, big stingrays, uh, it's incredible. Actually, don't put this drag up too high because you just horse fishing and then it's really not that fun um, but if you're looking for an affordable combo this is the way to go it's a seven foot medium rod um, again you can do anything right now I've got it set up for saltwater I, I got a video coming out soon I catch uh, some some saltwater species with a variation of saltwater species I'll definitely have more videos coming with this real soon just to show you what it can do um, I've actually uh, prior to fishing some salt water on it I was using this for some bass fishing so I've got maybe I want to say 20 10 20 yards of 10 pound fluoro tied onto the end of this braid here um, just to improve with the, the invisibility of the line in the clearer water uh, from bass fishing it actually helped out a lot with salt water fishing because uh, again practically invisible in the water and fish can't see it then using a fluorocarbon leader a 14 pound fluorocarbon leader and it's pretty much perfect for catching just about anything um, so I mean if you're looking for an affordable combo I definitely recommend going with this reel um, 20 pound braid is more than enough for this reel you can go 15 maybe um, I think maybe that's just a little too light. I'm trying to go across the board, all types of fish. Um, 20 pound braid is thin enough, and you can get plenty of line on this thing. It's a, it's a freshwater fish, saltwater fish, and it easily goes from saltwater to freshwater. Again, it's a real, I've been using it for about a month now. I have yet to rinse it off. Um, the first time I used it was in saltwater, and probably used it an equal amount of time, saltwater and freshwater, and it just, it gets the job done. So if you're looking for an affordable combo, it definitely compares. So uh, to cap that off, you can get quality on a budget versus spending a lot of money. Now, this rod, mind you, not that expensive. It's a pen rod though, pen squadron two, uh, medium heavy, extra fast action great rod. I've used this rod with several different reels I've owned and it pretty much holds up to everything. I've 
caught all kinds of fish on this rod, uh, even with other reels. Um, but I originally bought this rod for this reel. Um, and for a while, I actually had this reel on my star rod, which I now strictly use that star rod for salt water. It is a medium heavy, uh, seven foot medium heavy, but not having that extra back action tip makes it a little too stiff for bass fishing, I feel like. Um, now this medium rod here, like I said, I've flipped sharks at the pier with this medium rod on a 12 pound Berkeley vanished fluorocarbon and a 30 pound Berkeley big game mono leader. So um, you can do just about everything with a $55 combo. So if you're on a budget and you're looking for something real quality, you got a Walmart nearby, go check them out. Uh, both the uh, 4000 and the 2500 are about 30 bucks. And again, the Tsunami rod, one piece, seven foot medium rod is 22, maybe 23 bucks. Uh, if you get lucky, you'll catch it on sale for like 20, 21 dollars. Um, now they've got a few different selections of, of good rods. Um, if you'd like to get a matching Shimano rod, you can go to walmart.com. It's a two piece rod, but they got the Shimano FX spinning rod, which is a uh, 6'6 six, six medium and it's a two-piece rod but for a two-piece rod uh, I've used it several times a buddy of mine owns it and it definitely will get the job done and it's a little more you know portable more compact you can easily break it down put it in your trunk without having to stick it out the window or put your seat down and stuff like that so I prefer one-piece rods I feel like they're more durable more sturdy to get the job done um, but if can afford a one-piece rod, a two-piece rod from Shimano. It's about 16 to 20 bucks uh, on Walmart.com. I know my local bait shop sells it for about 16 bucks, um, and Walmart.com is about 20 bucks. So um, either way you go, I mean, you're looking at a 50, 55 dollar combo. You can do everything with, and again, this reel will hold up to just about everything. Um, hoping to put this on some bigger fish soon uh, just to show it off and really put it to the test I mean for 30 bucks if I burn this reel out I'll go buy another one um, it's not that bad um, but if you got any questions or any suggestions on something you'd like to see me review uh, drop it in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, go follow me on Instagram and like the Facebook page Turtle Got Baits um, got some giveaways coming soon. I'm actually thinking about doing a giveaway on one of these reels. I, I believe in this reel so much, I'm going to give one away uh, so that somebody out there can get to experience it, um, experience the amazing power of this little Shimano reel. Um, again, 30 bucks at Walmart, you can't ask for more. I mean, it just looks good. Look, look at that rod. It looks really good. It's got, I can barely see it in the light I'm in right now. It's kind of got like a metal flake finish on the frame and then that gray and chrome on the spool. Um, it just looks really good. Drag sounds good. Drag's got an amazing sound to it. I love the way this drag sounds um, compared to the drag on the Abu. I'm a sucker for the way drag sounds. Very quiet, you can't even hear that. Um, barely clicks. It's gotta we really rip out for you to hear it. Um, but that's pretty much it. This gonna be my uh, first rod and reel review for the springtime. Um, I'm gonna review some of my larger rods. I've got the Revo S. Um, I'm sorry, I got the Revo X bait caster, and I'm gonna do a comparison with that against my uh, Black Max and my Cast King Assassin. Um, Cast King's probably not gonna like this review very much. Um, nothing against the company as a whole, they have great customer service, but the product as a whole, it doesn't compare to what you spend on uh, trusted name brands. So um, again, like and subscribe, and see you guys next time.